Hello, and welcome to Camu Reviews Fruit, episode 20. This episode, I'm doing my very first double review, where I review two fruits back-to-back. -back. Uh, the first one I'll be trying is the Black Velvet Apricot, which is very small, and the uh, Red Apricot. So this is the Black Velvet, this is the Red. Um, I thought they seem pretty similar, so I might as well try both of them in the same review. Um... And it'll be my third apricot-related review of the past many, because I've just been finding all these variations that I didn't know existed um, until recently. So I'll be starting with the Black Velvet apricot. Mmm. Wow. It's very crunchy has this yellow flesh on the inside. The skin is tart, which is nice. The inside has this, um, it's almost like there's little tiny air pockets, um, that make it crunchy. Um, it, it just sort of, like, pops when you bite into it. It's this very, um, crunchy, airy texture, uh, which is really great. Um, it just has a lot of flavor. It's, um, very much like a Pluot, which, if you haven't had that before, that is a plum-apricot hybrid. Um, and so it, it tastes a lot like that. Um, like, uh, of the flavors of plum and the flavors of apricot combined. This is very good. I like how crunchy it is. Now I'm gonna take a bite of the red apricot. Compare it. Interesting. It's not what I was expecting. The uh, the flesh is also red on the inside, by the way. Um, the texture of the red apricot is much more similar to that of like a, a red apricot or the yellow apricot that I tried. Texturally, it seems much more like an apricot. And in terms of flavor, it's less plum-like than the black velvet. The red apricot, um, it doesn't have as much of that sort of like peachy flavor that a typical apricot has. Um, but it has, like, almost a, a bit of a savory tomato-like element to it. It's, um, it, it's kind of like an apricot with a little bit of tomato flavor, almost. It's, uh... There's this sort of, um... A little bit of savory in the aftertaste of this. Which is interesting. It's definitely different. Um, but you can still tell that it's an apricot by how it tastes. Um, I'm going to give the red apricot a an 8.5 out of 10, and I'm going to give the black velvet apricot a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, they're both good, but I'm definitely liking the flavor on this one a bit more. It just, it just has more uh, tartness. It's just more flavorful overall. So that was episode 20, my first double review.